Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess Ophelia Sabrina Acapo and wanted to give you a prophetic word that the Lord has spoken to my spirit on today. And it is a great and powerful word, but it is also funny as well. <laughs> and the title of this, and I'm laughing in advance, the title of this prophetic word on today is going to be, I'm going to knock you out. It is so ironic and mysterious of just how God is. And when I got the title, I was like, Lord, are you sure? Then he gave me the song. And this is a back in the day song. I'm going to knock you out. Mama said, knock you out. LL Cool J. I was like, God, <laughs> you guys, you know, I'm laughing. This is funny. I'm going to knock you out. Mama said, knock you out. The title, I'm going to knock you out. So as with any prophetic word, you guys, go to the Lord in prayer, test the spirits to affirm and confirm that this prophetic word is for you. And let me jump off into it. So I'm actually in deep prayer this morning. And I began listening to a word and I hear the Holy Spirit say, I'm going to knock you out. And as I said, God is mysterious because I'm like, Holy Spirit, how am I going to present this to your people? How is this going to come across? And the Holy Spirit immediately said to me, you remember how the stone that the builders rejected became a chief cornerstone. The Lord further wants you to know that the very ones that stated they were going to knock you out are the very ones that have caused you to be blessed and to stand out, even to stand out amongst the crowd. You remember Hammond, how he set up a trap for Mordecai? So he tried to knock Mordecai out. But the Lord did a turnaround in Mordecai's life granted him favor in the trap Hammond set for Mordecai, he fell into his own trap. So the Lord is saying the same traps that were set for you by your enemies, they are now falling into the very traps they set. In other words, they don't set up for themselves. They're going to fall into that very trap they set up for you themselves. Esther 7, 9 through 10. Now Herbana one of the eunuchs said to the king, look, the gallows 50 cubits high, which Hammond made for Mordecai, who spoke good on the king's behalf, is standing at the king at the house of Hammond. Then the king said, hang, hang him on it. So the very thing that he built, the gallows, the 50 cubits high, he made it all cute and everything for Mordecai. Just don't know he made it all cute. And the 50 cubits wide for himself. And the king ordered for him to be hung on them very 50 cubits high that he had planned out for Mordecai. Then the, so they hanged Hammond on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then the king's wrath subsided. I'm knocking your enemies out now and I'm doing a reformation and a transformation in your life. Your fervent, sacrificial, and praying without ceasing has caused me to come in and take full control and full access. I am knocking your enemies out for you to fulfill your kingdom assignment, your destiny and purpose, your vision, provision, and mission. Because you chose me as a priority you put me first before others and you place me in the highest esteem. I am ordering your steps, rearranging and changing your life and moving you into your rightful place in the kingdom. Due to my hearing your persistence, your continuous and consistent prayers of breaking, separating and disconnecting, 
I am granting your request and the tables have turned in your favor to knock your enemies out. And I hear the song by LL Cool J again. Mama said, knock you out. I am knocking your enemies out. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest praise. You have been asking, seeking, and knocking for an open door. And I am granting you access. Luke 11, 9 through 10. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. 2 Corinthians 4 and 9. We are pursued, persecuted, and heart driven, but not deserted to stand alone. We are struck down to the ground, but never struck out or destroyed. All in all, he never left us. He never separated from us, nor has he ever forsaken us. God is instead restoring us, redeeming us, resurrecting us, and keeping us. The knockout that came for us, the Lord has flipped it in reverse. I'm causing your light to shine. I'm redeeming the time. I'm freeing and liberating you. I'm bringing you out just like I did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I'm exposing and I'm knocking your enemies out. Mama said, knock you out. I am knocking your enemies out. I pray that this word has encouraged as well as edified you guys on today. You guys know I had to put a little personality twist with this word. I'm really glad the way the Lord is using me. Lord, I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I am glad to be here to edify your name, to exalt your name, and to be a reflection of your image. It gives me great pleasure. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of my new subscribers. I appreciate you joining the family. I appreciate you guys taking the time out to listen. I thank you for all your continuous support. If you have not joined this family, Hit that subscribe button and join this family and get on board over here where you can turn your test into a marvelous testimony. You can get an edifying word, an encouraging word, an enlightening word, as well as an ex exciting word on a daily basis right here on this channel. Until the next video, you guys, I am constantly praying for you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. God bless each and every one of you guys richly. Once again, I love you. Until the next video, don't forget to hit that noti bell where you can be notified each time I upload a video, you guys. God bless each and every one of you. Once again, I love each and every one of you. You are constantly in my prayers. Take care. Until the next video, God bless you. Bye-bye.